Hello and welcome to SB's Academy. The lesson for this video is skills tested by recruiters during a group discussion. Like SB's Academy's page on Facebook and subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow SB's tips for videos, posts and reels on communicative English and soft skills. Do check the comment section for the links of the shorter videos clipped from this longer content for your convenience. Links for the sources and references have been posted in the comment section. Links to the YouTube channel and Facebook page are posted in the caption and description box. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Happy learning! The first part of this five-part series is the significance of communication skills for evaluation in GD. Language skills need not be immaculate here, but it needs to be decent at least to be able to portray ideas in an efficient manner. Fluency is a key aspect so that one is able to complete the discourse with least possible breaks or unnecessary pauses. Now let's take a look at the subskills of communication which we are going to cover in this content. First, probing and note taking. Second, repeat and rephrase. Third, articulation and speaking. Fourth, active listening. Fifth, questioning and follow up. Capture the conversation by taking notes because it will help you during the analysis stage to know precisely what people said and how their statements connect to the questions raised in the discussion. It also provides for quotes and verbatim expressions in the reports. Note impressions or insights that describe the main contentions raised in the group or that seem to affect the conversation. It is best to take notes in the middle of the dialogue and after the episode with participants. Reflective notes make for robust qualitative data. Generate deep discussion and stimulate creative ideas by asking probing questions. It is a key facilitation technique and can be used to encourage participation. Avoid yes or no questions which serve to close off the discussion rather than open to more creative ideas if you want to earn brownie points. Ask for clarification if you do not understand something. If someone says something that you were not able to understand, ask them to repeat or clarify what they said. While the facilitator is responsible for leading the conversation, the note taker should ask clarifying questions. Paraphrase or summarize long unclear comments by participants. This shows to the participants that the moderator is actively listening and it helps the moderator to ensure that he or she has understood the participant's statements. After a group discussion is done, it is essential to summarize the key points that were discussed. This helps with making sure that everyone is on the same page. It also allows each person to be involved in what was said and understand where people may have differing opinions. Effective communication is a vital key to a successful group discussion. Remember, there are other participants as well who are vying for the limelight. The way an individual communicates his idea has to be very impressive for him to live up to the expectations of the deciding authorities. Effective communication is the backbone of a successful group discussion. Never use slang. Instead, go for some corporate jargon or professional terminology for the desired edge. Keep your voice polite and soft but convincing. Do not just speak for the sake of speaking and prefer using articulate English. Never panic in a group discussion. 
have control over your words stay calm and composed and then there is no one stopping you and you will definitely emerge as a winner active listening is acquired with attention and understanding of ideas and facts listening with attention in a group discussion helps to give new ideas and not jump to conclusions good listening will avoid aggression because you know what the other person says and learn something new from it listening in a group motivates the environment and can help you notice flaws in what others speak listening will help you to comprehend what the other team members speak even if the topic is not well known as it keeps you aware and alert if you listen your teammates from the group will listen to you communicate ideas information or news in anticipation of a fellow member's expected response examples include informing group members about a fact regarding an opinion raised during the discussion or sharing an out of the box approach to the topic if there are n number of people in a group discussion then you should be speaking at the first or the second turn this way you can dominate the gd which will actually turn out good for you in the long run if there is any why in your mind you should ask during group discussion you should of course ask for clarification if you have a doubt because it certifies your participation in the assessment parameter this is not an exhaustive list of parameters on which you shall be evaluated The five part series provides a glimpse of only some of the major skills for basic guidance. There are many other skills that you may come across during your study and make sure to brush them up as well. Now if you've been reading through and paying attention, it should be crystal clear that a big pile of possible glitches are there to pop up and disrupt your progress in a group discussion. Now instead of being skeptical and wary of preparation you should note that most of them are interrelated and try to adjust and train yourself for the contest just treat them positively and regard them as possible learning points rather than blockages on your way you are going to find that nothing is impossible in the world and mastering a gd is only a ploy of the attitude you possess